Hello Weekend Warriors, welcome back to the workshop. Last week I posted the video of the cylindrical screen press adapter for the T-Press only to find out that my customer was buying that thing for somebody else and they don't have a T-Press. So I had to change up the design a little bit and so as usual I hit up YouTube just like everybody else does and uh, I came, saw a couple of different designs that I decided to put together and make a, a pretty quick and neat when I started this uh, Oh, yesterday about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Here it is, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. And I've been out for a bike ride and all kinds of good stuff. So I put in just a couple of hours and kind of designed on the fly as I went. And this is what I came up with. It still has the basic T design. But the height on the, on the uh, screen portion is adjustable by by oh, adjusting those two nuts you see there and it'll go up high enough to do a uh, child's uh, beach bucket if that is your desire to print but it will also do glasses and shot glasses and there's a lot of adjustability to it and uh, the customer says she wants to be able to do uh, 32 ounce beer mugs going to be able to do that too no problem so I'm pretty happy with this one big difference is I made it for a specific size screen. I'll move that out of the way there. And the screen here that you see is a homemade 12 by 14 that I also knocked out yesterday. The, the mesh in it isn't even really screen mesh, it's chiffon. And I've done a video in the past about screen printing when you're in a tight spot using chiffon. Uh, but you're gonna see it looks just as good as the one I did yesterday on a 230 mesh. Anyway, and then look down here at the bottle carriage. Ugh. And you see it's still driven by bearings there. And I changed that design just a little bit because it's not on the T-Press. And if I was to put this on the T-Press adapter, which, by the way, a lot of the parts that are on this were on the T-Press adapter last week. Uh, anyway, it's adaptable for the T-Press adapter too. But you can change the height of the wheels. You can change the uh, how close they are. You can change the angle on them. Uh, so you can print all kinds of cylindrical objects with this guy. So now let's just look, see how it works. So now let's see how this thing works. Uh, you can see I've got a jar loaded in it. Uh, and it, it's not gonna wobble or anything like that. It's gonna do just like I want it to. The, the front end height and support is provided by these quarter inch rods that I've got uh, set up here. So since I've got it lifted up for bottle load or for, for adjusting of the carriage, I'm ready to print. Let me go ahead and put it back down. This side is already set up to the height I need. So all I have to do is tighten that one back up. And now I'm ready to print. Uh, yes, I've still got a little bit of off contact on there. That's good. All right, the squeegee, once again, pivots. You see I did pivot a little bit differently on this one. Uh, I still use the same squeegee for flooding and filling. I don't, or flooding and printing. I don't have two different squeegees attached to the arm. Uh, I made the arm a lot firmer, and I've also mounted the, the uh, squeegee arm to the same spot as the the uh, tilt on the on the screen so I'm not wrestling with it quite as much as I was the other one either anyway so I've already flooded the screen so now I just want to go ahead and print so I've got it set at a print angle and there we go another dog squadron sauce bottle going on there and once again, like I did last week, if it's so much fun to do it once, got to be twice as fun to do it a second time. And yes, indeed it is. I smeared that one a little bit, but that's okay. Once again, this is still Plastisol ink. I haven't gone out and bought any inks to, to, uh, to actually do any glass yet. 
Okay, so let's change the size. We'll go for the, the small, smaller, I don't know what was in this bottle. But we'll try it. And I gotta adjust the height on it because this one, you know, is about half an inch shorter than the other one. So a little bit, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Bring the screen down where I can get to it. Now, if I had to adjust it any more than this. I would just adjust the nuts and back, drop the whole frame down a little bit, and we would be there. And another dog, dog squadron, dog squadron jar printed. Of course, it's going to rub right off for the next time I decide to do something like this. Anyway, so. Um, Tammy, I hope you see this. This is the design I'm thinking for you. Uh, if anybody else wants one, let me know. I can change the wood. I can make it metal. I do all that sort of stuff. Um, this was just fastest and the easiest for me to do. Anyway, that's about all I got. So until next time, y'all keep up the good fight. I'll see you later. Bye.